Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Liu Junwei, technical, technical director of computer, computer, uh, cloud computing. Today, with my co-worker, Xu Jun, data center, uh, data, data center operational system team leader, we will share the topic, practice of application migration to DCOS platform in China Mobile. First of, all, first of all, we allow me to make a simple introduce about my company. China Mobile Suzhou Research Institute is responsible for the development of com cloud computing and big data products. It has 600 employees now. Uh, first, we will introduce some background of our DCOS platform. Then we will describe the components of our DCOS. Next, we will share some experience of migrating applications to DCOS platform. Last, we will show you a production case in China Mobile. In China Mobile, we often suffer problems as follows in our IT stack. Problem one, on the other hand, low resource usage of our data center. But on the other hand, resources is not enough to satisfy the different requirements. The problem two, application deployment and scaling are very time consuming. Maybe you need several hours or days. Problem three, high complexity in operation, management, and uh, maintenance. So what's the essential reasons? First, we think applications with traditional architecture are not well adapted with cloud inf infrastructure. Application deployment and uh, scaling has complex dependency. We need to prepare servers, install operating system, and uh, independent libraries. Also, we need to configure application and uh, load balance um, manual. Second, through we, also we already adopted OpenStack to build our ICE platform. But we still do not completely solve the problems because ICE main focus on pri pro providing IT resources, not application. The resource is still statically allocated to each application, not shared with each other. We have no powerful platform which friendly and uh, seamless with the uh, application. So we plan to solve these problems from two sides. One side, moving our application to cloud native architecture to make application more accommodation with cloud. Cloud native architecture is compliance with this principle. Microservice architecture, stateless, immutable infrastructure, and so on. The other side, we will build DCOS platform, which provide powerful abilities for application with cloud native architecture. It, it private abilities like scaling, fault tolerant, it also provides dynamic resource scheduling in a fine-grained uh, manner. Our DCOS is inspired by Mesosphere. It's a, light, it's a lightweight pass platform for production system and be used to orchestrate containerization applications in China Mobile. Our DCOS is based uh, on Mesos and Marathon. Mesos and Marathon are used for cluster resources scheduling and uh, 
application lifecycle management. In addition, they have other components in our decals. Here we will show the service registration and uh, discovery component. This component is based on ETCD and uh, HA proxy. The processing flow as follows. First, we listen on marathon event bus. When application change via marathon, we will be noticed by marathon event bus. So when application actions happen, we could update app registry info like IP plus port of, of, of application in ETCD real time. Secondly, we also monitoring ETCD. When registration information updated in ETCD, we could use the latest information to configure the HA proxy and uh, reload HA proxy again. Then the request of the application will be dispatched to the right application instance. For example, the instance created, uh, late, late, created, new created. This slide, uh, we will show the other components in our decals. First is the auto-scaling module, which will be used to auto-scale up and down application based on monitoring metrics like CPU, memory, request re response time of HA proxy. The monit monitoring and the alarm module mainly used to collect and uh, display cl cluster and applications monitoring data. Also offer a variety of alarm, alarm mode and uh, strategies. Then the user management module pro provide the user authentication and the authorization functions. Last, our DCOS has a dashboard for self-service. The application in Challenge Bar has four characteristics. Uh, most of them are J2E enterprise applications, and they are typically uh, uh, typical, uh, three tiers uh, architecture. Uh, uh, for the access uh, for the access layer, uh, it needs to support uh, multiple channels like uh, PC, uh, mobile, uh, and others. Uh, uh, business logic layers include uh, uh, building, uh, settlement, uh, custom service, uh, uh, say, policy management, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, for the data layer, it uh, may use multiple type of storage, uh, like Oracle for the database, and, uh, and NAS for the uh, file storage. Mm. Uh, because most of, the, of, of this application uh, are state a lot of statements. So, uh, mount this application to our DCOS platform. We need to make some change to these uh, applications, make make them make them more uh, comply with the cloud native uh, architecture and the, make the application containerized. Uh, next, uh, we are share some appearance about the application migration. Uh, the first of, the first problem we uh, encountered uh, uh, is about the session management uh, as showed in the picture in the slides. Uh, uh, some some application uh, stores the session uh, in local uh, web server. Uh, this is, uh, this this way is not not, uh, not a horizontal horizontal scalability. Uh, when uh, application application uh, instance. Uh, exit the session, the session data has were gone, and uh, which will cause the user to uh, log in again. This is a very bad user experience. Uh, 
Uh, so we suggest uh, to store the session data into a, a shared cache server, uh, like in the Redis. Uh, then application uh, uh, could store and get the session from the cache server via the session RD. Mm, second period is about how uh, data. Uh, some application use how data in a traditional ways. They load how data from the database uh, during the application uh, launch. If the how data is very big, uh, which you may cause uh, uh, long time to application to start up. So, uh, of what is we uh, we could uh, we could put the hot data uh, in the uh, case in the case server uh, one in the case server and the application uh, and access the hot data from the case server. Uh, this can accelerate the uh, container startup. The third, some application you last to uh, to uh, to store the uh, static files uh, like a phone ticket, and for the character of the containers, they may uh, they may be uh, exit and uh, launch on, on other servers, and so we suggest to use uh, object storage to uh, store and uh, store and get the. Static files. Uh, this can separate the data and an application. Uh, then the application uh, interactive with the storage only via the uh, REST API. And so we we don't need to mount uh, each uh, mount NAS device to each uh, each service in our data center. There are some other experiments for application migration for uh, inter interactive between servers in our DSS uh, platform. We, uh, we try to use standard pro uh, pro protocols uh, like HTTP, HTTP as much as possible. Uh, 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 why uh, EJB, TSEN, uh, uh, protocol, it doesn't work well with the edge proxy. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, for web logic, uh, we, uh, we suggest not to use the web logic cluster uh, mm, mm, because uh, the session is not uh, is, uh, is the session is, uh, is already uh, stored in a shared storage, and, uh, and the web logic cluster uh, uh, in, uh, configuration is complicated. Uh, we can use the this was platform to manage multiple uh, web logic instance. Uh, uh, this is this is more uh, better way. Mm. Mm. Uh, for uh, application configuration, we uh, we uh, we were bother to code the uh, configuration like IP and port uh, into image. Uh, we mm, it's better to. Uh, use the environment uh, availability to uh, configure the application. Uh, in order to uh, uh, easy the collection and analysis of logs, uh, we make some rulers for the log uh, application log limbs. Uh, uh, the ruler uh, look look like as uh, app lim and container id uh, and uh, uh, dit uh, to present the, the log lim. Mm -hmm. For uh, for building um, application docker images, uh, uh, it's better to uh, avoid uh, uh, use uh, use too many too many too many uh, layers in docker images and uh, remove unnecessary uh, data um, and only keep the dependent libraries and uh, and files and keep the uh, image size as small as possible. Uh, this is uh, very useful for uh, 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 for the uh, image to as as later for image pruning and start container startup. Uh, last way, uh, we last way uh, should configure database connection per uh, 
operating originally. Sometimes uh, auto-scaling may take a lot of container at the same time, uh, which will host all the database connections uh, uh, cause uh, a long res response of the database. Uh, now we will show a product case in China by in Zhejiang province. Uh, we have ma migrated the online browser application into our DSOS platform. Uh, for, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this app has uh, 25 million users. Uh, average uh, 3 million active users per day and uh, average one, uh, 150 million uh, PV per day. And the DSOS uh, deploy equipment is shown as a uh, picture. Uh, it contains uh, 93 servers and, and the five servers for, uh, uh, for managing learners, deployed methods master, zookeeper, and uh, uh, marathon. And the eight servers uh, used for HA policy. From and the HA policy is two uh, F5 uh, load plans one active and one backup. And the latest 80 servers are uh, uh, methods agent. Uh, in, uh, for, this, uh, 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 for this platform, we can run uh, up to uh, 2,000 containers. And it could scale, scale up uh, 1,000 containers uh, uh, within one minute. Uh, further, for the limited time promotion activity for phone recharge in November, November uh, 2015, 11, our plan for successful could uh, cope with the huge burst as assess and make ensure the good user appearance. Now we plan, uh, now this, uh, this, um, this application uh, could handle uh, 60,000 uh, uh, co uh, concurrent uh, request per second, uh, and it could support uh, max uh, one one thousand million PV a day and uh, twelve million login users. Uh, this uh, this is shown uh, in the table. Uh, this is a huge promotion compared with the traditional architecture uh, before we went uh, to this web platform. Uh, uh, that's all. That's all my share. Thank you for your attention. Yes? So what you talked about here was the conversion of your legacy application into the container, uh, container world, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you tell you have 90 nodes. How many containers you are running per node, and what is the average density in this deployment? Uh, Total number of containers. Uh, and average is uh, 20 containers on, on, on each host. Could you repeat, please? Huh? Yeah. Just a little bit louder. Uh, um, uh, average uh, 20, 20 containers on each, on each server. OK, thank you. And uh, second question, uh, how did you scale MySQL in container environments? Uh, uh, we, we, we didn't put the MySQL in my uh, uh, DSOS platform where MySQL is out of the side. We haven't uh, put the MySQL in, in, this, in the uh, DSOS platform now. So uh, how are you running MySQL in this case? Is it something separate installation or what is it? Yeah, separate even. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Oh, 
your, on your previous slides, you actually show some uh, MPI applications. Have you done anything with the, the, the MT, MPI type of uh, application with this DCOS? No. No. Okay, thank you. Thank you.